Welcome back guys. I've decided to do a follow-up to my PEI uh, build adhesion plate video. The first one I did, people basically said it was far too positive and didn't talk about the downsides of it. So I've now experienced some downsides because I'm completely useless and do everything wrong. Uh, so this is the same PEI as in, well, is in the previous video. And now it is completely annihilated. Notice the crack in the middle. Now, I accidentally destroyed it. And I destroyed it by, oh, how do I clean it? Oh, I'll use acetone. Ah, uh, eh, never do that. It turns into mush, which completely wrecked it. I then sanded it back. And, well, I could never get a perfect finish after that. And I suppose if I wet and dried this with many different sandpapers I could get it to a shiny f finish but this one I didn't and after that I also cracked it when I was pulling a print off now I don't know if that's just a coincidence or it's the fact that it got really brittle thanks to my acetone now uh, this is a 0.8 millimeter thick PEI and I highly recommend that you buy thick ones. I replaced this with a thin one. Uh, I think it's about 0.3 of a millimeter. And it's really hard to get this down without getting bubbles in it. And then when I heated it up, this happened. The bubbles expanded and it popped it up and it looked nasty. And I never used that. I pulled it straight back off and tossed it away. And went back to the thicker PEI. Now this is 0.8, like I said, and I would go only ever buy one millimeter now on from now on. Now how to remove it? I used this, dissolve it. Natural citrus base, which is the important part. And and spatula. And a lot of time. But I did get there. After that, I then went to another PEI piece of here, and this has still got some of the backing on it. And I didn't have another sticker on it, so I just stuck it on with a heap of bulldog clips, and I printed directly onto that. Now, I thought this was going to be an epic fail, but it actually wasn't. It worked perfectly well. I just printed it like that. Well, obviously more bulldog clips. But I was expecting it to bow, and it was a fairly big print that I did that was solid, and it didn't bow up, which was pretty impressive, really. Now, the massive advantage of this is that the problem I had with sticking it to the bed is that it sticks incredibly well. Like, it sticks so well to the PEI that to try and remove the... Um, the, the print from the build plate, this PEI, I pretty much a lot of times had to get this under here and a rubber mallet. Yes, I am serious, a rubber mallet. Now what that meant is that really damaged the printer because in, uh, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, it had a, didn't have this hardcore 16 millimeter <laughs> linear rails for overkill. Uh, so it was actually kind of wrecking the printer while I tried to get it off. Uh, now that's not that much of a problem because I do have these massive rails on there. However, without, with just using the bulldog clips, it was really, really, really easy, of course, because I could just bend the piece of PEI and peel it off, which worked incredibly well. It's actually on that side. I think I had the nozzle a bit low. One thing I don't know, and maybe people will up, tell me in the comments, is how you actually get that stuff off. Because, of course, I couldn't use acetone on it, because that wrecks it. And that is the one downside uh, to this, what people call fake PEI, because apparently PEI is supposed to be resistant to acetone, and this definitely isn't. And at the end of the day, I don't really care. It sticks PLA to it. You don't even need to heat it. 
But if you have a failed print, like you do a first layer and you stop, basically impossible to get it off. In saying that, it may be this particular filament because I've only had that problem with the black filament. And the red filament, I never had it stick to the PEI. So I don't know, I don't know if people have had, well obviously it sticks to the PEI, but like sticks to it so you cannot get it off. I don't know what other people's experiences are. But that is a update to the PEI. It's so much easier, just stuck on there. And interestingly enough, there's a bit of a vacuum that actually happens there. But Bulldog Clips, PEI, bend, worked. It'd be interesting to know what happened if it had a real massive print. Massive. Hmm. 22 centimeters or whatever. And to see if it would borrow. I'm highly surprised that it didn't. And that is probably because it's a fairly thick piece of PEI. And like I said, from now on, I'll definitely go to one. But I'm actually going to try a different build service after this. Which I guess I will do a review on too. So that is the, I guess the downsides and something people can try when it comes to PEI. I still love PEI because relative to everything else, I've got, I bought another printer, Flying Bear, and it came with a build tack. I can't get anything to stick to that. PEI sticks so well that that's actually the problem, is it sticks too well. But that's, I much prefer that than it doesn't stick well enough. All right, guys, subscribe if you like, subscribe if you don't like, and I will see you on the next one. All right, guys, see you. Bye-bye.